feels like a Monday. I got that. Ugh. <laughs> um, going into work, running a little bit late. It's 8:26. No idea why I'm so tired. I'm sort of embarrassed. Just can't get moving. Uh, first meeting, financial planning meeting. Um, I'm trying to. Every I've always just sort of thrown money back into the the brands. That's sort of how I operate. And uh, people around me are trying to convince me that I need to start diversifying my income and uh, thinking about later on in life. I can't think about more than like next week, <laughs> let alone think about, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now or when I want to retire. Um, but doesn't mean I won't sit down and entertain ideas and listen. And then, another point in time today, we have uh, an interview for a pretty fucking big deal dude um, that we may be bringing on staff to help us with some things. Um, that would be a, change, a game changer. Game I know you're going to ask the name of the band. <laughs> so this is uh, my boy Corey's band, Hearing Shapes. Go check them out. Um, see, I don't know what to do here. I could edit this entire video, uh, but I really only got two clips. And I don't know if it's just me or if everyone else is on board with this, but like I'm mesmerized by just watching her. I could watch this entire clip. I could watch like 45 minutes of Dana training in slow motion just because she's so interesting to look at. Like she trains a lot more intense than everyone I know. She just sets things and she just looks freaky all the fucking time. Like, look at that. Why does she look like that? I don't get it. I don't think most people get it, but it's definitely fucking rad to look at. But I didn't have enough exciting clips. I didn't have enough of really anything to edit here. So we're just going to watch some straight clips. Um, today was a really long day. Oh, my goodness. We, uh, I did a bunch of cool things um, executive-wise. I did a bunch of cool things with... Jesus, I made a lot of big decisions today. I bought... Um, I bought long-term fixed life insurance. Is that what it's called? Something like that. Really fucking expensive. Um, I invested in the stock market today. Uh, <laughs> where I'm starting in January. Um, what else did I do? Ooh, I hired an employee, which I'll talk about more Monday. I'll introduce him, his position, what he will be handling. I'm going to be a little bit cryptic on it because it's... It's sort of inventing a program that's not going to launch for a while, but nevertheless, I'll, I'll show you dudes and you women. Um, as far as today, we did back and shoulders. That was Dana's idea. She wanted to hit back and shoulders. So fuck it, man. Um, I sort of mirrored her workout, but once again, I don't look nearly as exciting as her, so why film me? We did laterals set with pull downs, 
presses set with rows. I did presses and pull-ups, and uh, it was a really good, really good little workout. Um, the Viking press has been moved from the wall of the gym to sort of the center of the gym. Um, this is a for a while we had uh, Metal Monster Joe, which you can look him up on Instagram. Um, sort of doing all of our fabrication work, but uh, he actually got a better opportunity and we didn't, you know, sort of started running out of equipment and running out of work. He was sort of hopping in the car shop and uh, moved on to a better, much, much sunnier position over in fucking California. Um, but here we are using this splendid piece, uh, our custom-made Viking press. Dana did drop set here. And then she went over and did rows. After this, she did, let me think. I think she did like a, that, well, the tri set you can see in her Snapchat. It was like a, a um, she does like a front raise, a lying down um, row, and then a standing row. So pretty interesting. But it was a good workout, man. I, I, got, a, I got a pump pretty early on but then I started talking business and started talking gym modification we're sort of building a sign on that back wall to get some action and some light back there but overall good workout I felt like I filled up a lot I felt like I filled up I, I feel like I looked really good um not awesome but good better than I normally look so it made me happy uh, not nearly as good as this little monster right here. Look, geez, when, this is like a freak athlete. A freak monster athlete. All right, here, we got somebody else exciting here. So if you see this girl here, this is Jennifer. So Jennifer's due date was yesterday. Uh, like yesterday as in this is the day after her due date. So the baby, for some reason, just wants to hang out, doesn't really want to come out. Uh, they don't have a name for it. She's worked out every single day. Uh, <laughs> so today she was squatting uh, just the bar with the pregnant form. And this is me sort of sniping from across the gym. But she was doing like a, a bar squatting set with some kind of box jumps. So I think sort of not box jumps, but like step ups. I think sort of hoping that the baby comes out. But... It didn't. I'm just sort of sitting at my house tonight waiting for the phone call, waiting to hear, hey, Rob, you got to come over. Uh, the baby girl's on her way. So we're just sort of hanging out, waiting, just waiting, just waiting for the baby, the baby that doesn't have a name yet. So I don't know what to call it, but I guess they'll figure out when that happens. Um, it's supposed to snow tonight, which is exciting. Um, so we sort of wrapped up our workout maybe a little earlier than we normally would because um, we had to get home and sort of prep for the snow. For you guys who have seen my driveway, uh, it's not the nicest driveway to deal with in the snow. So we have to get the plow on the rig and we have to get the salt spreader on the rig and sort of prep for this stuff. It's not something that we can just ignore and then get through the next day. If we ignore the snow... It's going to rock us. There's also the concern of who the fuck is going to open the gym tomorrow. we got to make sure that our staff can get there. So we need to be ready. Well, we're home. <laughs> so we're supposed to get a snowstorm tomorrow. Right, Ma? Hell yeah. So up. we got our matching Carhartt jackets. So you can see it. Put that little Carhartt jacket on. Um, we got to, you guys have seen our driveway. We have to actually uh, get the plow and hook up the plow and hook up the salt spreader and get ready for the snow. When it snows, this driveway is, is chaos. So it's a lot of prep work that has to be done. Um, but, you know, that's what you have to do. So to show you guys, we have, whoop, we are out of focus. Um, we have all these off-road things, but we got this Kubota. Um, this came with the house when I bought the house. We worked this into the deal. So I got to unload all these tools. 
and get this thing where I gotta get this out of the way. I got a lot of work to do tonight. It's fucking cold out here. I'm in a little Kubota, moving stuff around. Trying to get stuff in the, gar in the garage. Yopi is pulling in that son of a bitch. What's up, little guy? This is so cold. Oh, it's so cold. So, we gotta get the tracks back on that for the snow. So, we got a little salt set up. We added, we gotta put the plow on, but I don't think we gotta do it yet. So, you gotta slide that into there, plug it in, be good. We're gonna salt tonight, right? Yeah, we're gonna salt tonight. Yeah. 